How's it going everyone? As you can tell from the title of today's video, both of my 9.3s are uh, experiencing leaks. I did a video probably about a month ago or so, maybe even a little bit longer than that, talking about all the misfortunes I've had with this car and this car over the last, I guess, handful of weeks. And while I fixed some of them, and I'll talk about that here in a minute, I guess, in this video, I've also stumbled acro across some more. Before we get into this video, I wanted to give a shout out to the sponsor of this video, Super Clean. They sent out a variety of products to me, including a general cleaner, like you'll see here, degreasers, wheel cleaners. And this was a huge mess I had after I did the brakes on my Turbo X. And you can see how easily this just ate up all of that grime, dirt, grease, debris, everything. So if you guys are interested in a product like this, make sure to check out the link in the description. They also have a 50% off rebate going on right now. So let's start with the Turbo X. I had mentioned the brakes were on their way out and a couple other small things in the last video. As you guys have seen though, uh, I have replaced the brakes and I only got to put about 100 miles on them before something decided to give out. So I noticed a puddle under the car uh, probably about two days after I'd finished the brakes. So I go to drive it and I notice that as I'm driving it, it's really rubbing over bumps on the front, particularly on the passenger side. Now it will rub every now and then under, over like harsh bumps at high speeds. It'll rub a little bit like on this front wheel right here, but I've never heard it rub over there. So I thought that was a little bit weird. I jacked the car up because I wanted to know where that puddle was coming from. And it turns out that both of my coilovers in the front have uh, kind of decided to just give out. So you can see it right there. There's some fluid pulled up right up here. It's the same on the other side. Um, these are Maptune Gen 1 coilovers. These are known for not being the most perfect coilovers. Um, they actually stopped making these coilovers in 2016. They now have a Gen 2 coilover, which is a million times better. And these coilovers have also been on this car for 60,000 miles. Coilovers are kind of like any other wear item on your car, like your cabin air filter or your brakes or something else. I mean, they're things that you replace. Suspension is maintenance items that you replace over time on your car. So I knew it was only a matter of time until I would have to replace these coilovers. So I guess that will be coming sometime in the next few weeks. I don't know when exactly. But until then, the uh, Turbo X will probably be out of commission because I don't really want to drive it, especially any long distances. So that's one leak, I guess. The second leak is a coolant leak, which I think one of these nipples on this um, expansion tank, which I've replaced this already, I think it might be cracked because it does slowly just like seep coolant out of here. Very, very slowly. It's not a... It's something that's been doing for a while, quite frankly, and I just haven't got around to replacing this yet because I have more important things I'd rather fix first. But that's another technical leak. But the third leak, and this is something that I owe you guys 100% credit for, for helping me fix, or not fix, it's not fixed yet because the postal service is absolutely garbage and is a week late on the parts that I ordered. But that is the vacuum leak. So there's a bunch of vacuum lines running all along through here. And this one you'll notice is hanging down. There's supposed to be some clips that hold this up. And if I reach under here, I can feel a crack right here. I didn't even have, I did a special test. Someone sent me a video. When I do the full video on the repair of this vacuum fix, I'll show you guys how to run that test. So uh, stay tuned for that, I guess. But pretty much I found out that this line right here is bad. It runs under the expansion tank and back like behind the uh, ABS and all these all this shit right here, it just runs back behind there. So that's what that loud buzzing noise was whenever I just had the car in the on position not actually running, it's because there's a vacuum leak so the vacuum pump is just continually running. So again, 100% credit to you guys for showing me how to pretty much diagnose that problem. So thank you all so much, I really appreciate that because that's been a problem that's been annoying me for a while. But that pretty much solves or sums up this car at least I guess for now. So that vacuum leak should be fixed soon. The coilovers, I don't know when those will come in. Um, I haven't even ordered them yet, so I have no idea, but I'm not really in a rush to do it, quite frankly. And then thirdly, the uh, coolant leak, which isn't really major. So that sums up the Turbo X. Kind of sucky, but uh, it is what it is. It could always be much worse, as I like to uh, tell myself. Now moving on to this car. I talked about some non-leak related issues on this car. One of them being the little bit of damage that happened 
back here from my own negligence, which I've never done before and I was kind of a little bit upset about uh, for uh, obvious reasons. So that for one, I also had an airbag light. I got the airbag light fixed this past weekend. My buddy Anthony helped me out with that. So the airbag light is now gone. I also finally got around to putting this roof trim back in that Mako had broke. So I fixed that, found some good clips, swapped the clips over and uh, now we have our roof trim back in. So that's looking better. So those are obviously not leaks, but this car is having two leaks still. Now I did mention that I thought I had fixed the coolant leak and there was nothing on the ground for about a month after that video. So I'm like, yes, I finally fixed the coolant leak. Hell yeah, I'm so excited. But I have been noticing that the coolant level has been slowly, slowly going down, probably about at the same rate it was before. So that's why I have it filled a little bit high right now uh, for that reason, because I came out to the driveway where it's parked and you can just see little, little marks, Sp specifically that one right there or that one up there, just little coolant puddles under the car. So that leak, I guess, is slowly back. So what I'm gonna do in this video to at least have a little bit of action is try and diagnose that coolant leak. On top of that, I have noticed an intermittent leak coming from the cap of my power steering fluid. Um, I did notice that my steering was heavy, so I figured maybe my power steering fluid was low. So I put some more fluid in there and sure enough, I uh, overfilled it. So it just started coming out of the top and then I siphoned some out to where I thought I had it before and then it started slowly leaking out, but I haven't checked it in about three days and it looks like it might have stopped leaking. I don't really know. I mean, you can see there is a little bit of stuff down there, so I might need to swap out this cap and the O-ring that's on there, but I have a couple extra laying around, so uh, I guess we'll see. But yeah, let's take this engine cover off and see if we can see where it's leaking coolant from. So here's the thing, I spent about 10 minutes now just checking literally like every single coolant line on here possible because let me show you, it was leaking from the temperature sensor initially. This is where it was leaking from. It would slowly leak out and then it got all down into here. Pretty gross, I ended up cleaning most of it up and then it eventually dripped onto the ground. But that, since I cleaned it up, it's a little bit hard to see but I'll put an arrow on the screen the area right around it is free of coolant, so I know it's not leaking out of there again. This coolant T right here is another common failure point, so I felt under here, it's all dry under here, it's not dripping anything onto the alternator. I checked all these radiator hoses, all the hoses that run back around to the turbo, and this radiator hose that goes over to the thermostat. Nothing seems to be leaking. I looked under the car too, but I can't really see anything that's visibly leaking, so I'm a little bit stumped. Oh, another important part that is not leaking, I should mention, is the water pump over here, because that is a pain in the half to replace. Um, I'm not gonna be able to get good light on it and have the camera focus, but there is a little bit of like oil and stuff on it, just probably from over time. You can see it right through there, the thing with the four bolts on it. That is not leaking out at all. There's nothing below it on the I think that's the axle down there. I'm not really seeing any leak. So I think with that being said, uh, hopefully my next video, I will be fixing the vacuum leak on that because that was like really kind of my goal for this upload was to do that. But you know, again, postal service is just pretty bad around the holidays because it's so busy. So it's now almost a week late, like I said, but there's a, an update on everything. Just leaks, leaks and more leaks. Let me know if you have video suggestions down below in the comments. I finally got a laptop for a Tech 2, so I'm going to try to get security access here. Hopefully soon, I'm saying that in the video to like hold myself to it and actually do it. But with that said, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video and you feel bad for me, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.